الميتافيرس عملت حلقه كامله من باختصار حول هالموضوع بس كثير مفاهيم بعدها غير واضحه مثل شو هي استراتيجية الافضل للشركات اللي جني عوائد من الميتافيرس وانتو كيف تستثمروا فيه اليوم انا بمدينه كورونا باسبانيا التقيت اديبات فيردي وهو خبير بالواقع الافتراضي وكان ايضا مشغل منصب قيادي بقسم منتجات الواقع الافتراضي في فيسبوك تابعوا لقائنا بهذه الحلقه الخاصه من باختصار great to have you with us obviously the first question is what is your definition of the metaverse there's a lot of definitions out there how do you explain the metaverse so on a very simple level it's the internet but in 3d and you will have a digital twin that is going to walk around and experience that environment to help you in whatever you are doing in your day-to-day -day life so that's a very basic definition what do we need right now to enter the metaverse? What we need is a lot more innovation. So the metaverse, as a lot of people think, is, is not really about the technology. The metaverse is an environment, it's an ecosystem. So what we really need is to start thinking about what the value of immersive is. So how do we really connect things like the experiences we have, the content maybe we're trying to sell, the problems we're trying to solve with the people who are trying to solve them and do that in a meaningful, immediate, personalized way. So we have different technologies now to enter this metaverse. We have the VR set, we have the AR uh, set. So next is what? Uh, being able to touch and smell uh, in the metaverse? That's a really good question because at the moment what's evolving are the VR headsets. Now, and remember the metaverse is not just about virtual reality but the really exciting thing is that instead of looking through a phone uh, you can actually have a whole world wrapped around you. So that first person participatory experience is what is going to drive that but to answer your question to get that first person participatory experience you need to be able to feel in VR and yes there are haptic suits and all sorts of technology but there was a project I worked on which is literally using the controllers to feel weight right so it's all about embedded memory it's more about how we can relate you your experience of the world and how we can augment and enhance that and you talked about how you smell. So there's, there's a whole project uh, that I did on sensorial marketing. So with a fragrance, for instance, could I spray a fragrance and actually really, you know, smell what it would be like in real life? And again, it's all using your brain's capacity to remember embedded memories from other experiences you've had. But Adi, we have now different worlds in the uh, metaverse. Uh, how can we move our avatars and our NFTs from one world to another? Would this happen eventually? The idea is for this to happen eventually. So the metaverse, in terms of the word itself, it's, it's about one pervasive environment. It's like the internet, like I was saying, but to have one. Right At the moment, what we have is metascapes. I call them metascapes. They're sort of individual environments like Roblox, Fortnite, the sandbox, and so forth. Now, interoperability, i.e. the ability to move from one to the next, doesn't exist yet because everyone has their own rules. So you can't start in one and move to the other one seamlessly. But that will happen because as soon as we have a standard that is defining the way we build the metaverse, these things will automatically evolve. One of the key things to bear in mind here is the ideal is that you in your digital form will have you know your assets whether that's NFTs whether that's I don't know like it's like buying clothes right so if you buy clothes from one shop if you go to another shop you don't want to take them off or lose them you want to maintain those clothes but then add to what you've got and you have to have the choice so that's what needs to happen is that even if you are in Fortnite whatever you have assets you have from there they need to be something that you can take away and use and apply in another environment. So we're getting there, but there's lots of political, socio-economic things that we need to consider before that's really going to take off. Adi, from your experience, how can companies enter the metaverse? What is the best strategy or the best approach in order to monetize the metaverse? So in the short term, organizations can reap benefit by creating environments and experiences where people can really understand how their value system connects with a company's value system and use that as the model for how you, you know, create uh, value. In the medium term, 
Organizations have to almost evolve their brand DNA and be ready for an immersive future. And what I mean by that is we can't just create immersive experiences and just you know, tag them on. You've got to rethink how your business works and how it can relate to your audience and the experiences so that you really are building a model which is not about buying, it's about belonging. So transactions need to almost be a byproduct. And in the long term, it's, I call it VCOM, right? So it's uh, virtual commerce. It's, it's all about, for instance, if you are in a shop, to be able to walk out from a shop in London in the real world into a virtual store, which is in Bangkok, and to be able to do that seamlessly so that you have a global, immediate, pervasive, and personalized experience. And all of this has to move us to a place of decentralization. That's the future state where companies really can reap value. And this metaverse that you are talking about, how many years it would take us to see it? The metaverse that I'm talking about, which is not an oligopoly, which is something which is truly open source, I think we are at least seven or eight years away from that because in the next one to two years, we need to get to a place of technological ubiquity. People need to see a virtual reality headset or AR glasses as, as the same as their phone. Beyond that, they need to be able to use it in ways that enhances the experiences they're already having in the real world. And that's going to take us a few years, three or four years. So beyond that, we then need to create, we need to experiment, we need to innovate. So I reckon about seven to eight years. From an investment point of view, Adi, what's the best way to invest in the metaverse? Is it through buying virtual lands? Is it through buying uh, NFTs? Or is it, uh, is it through buying companies that are building the metaverse? Um, in the short term, it's in the companies that are not just building the metaverse, but are doing what you said earlier, which is really exploring what it's like to live, breathe, feel, smell, to sense in the metaverse. That's where I think the market is, right? Is And also, I guess, the tech, from a technology point of view, it's not just the devices, but it's the, the technology that's allowing us to connect in a more seamless way. So that's where the first investment is. Second, NFTs at the moment have kind of, you know, the bubbles kind of burst a little bit because they are, as I was saying before, collectibles, right? But when we turn that model around and we look at what the power of NFTs is, so a great example is this um, uh, fragrance manufacturer that you know literally measured your personal response to you know spraying their new fragrance, and they did a map of you know the, the, your brain, what what are the neurons that sort of lit up, and took a photograph, and then translated that into an NFT. So the NFT has an immediate connection with you. It has value beyond just being something static, and there is a long-term use case for how you can connect you as the organization with your consumer. That's where I think NFTs are going. That's the time to invest in NFTs. And then in the long term, it has to be virtual real estate because it's literally going to, I think, going to go to a place where the whole world is going to be recreated virtually and you will be able to buy land. So you could buy, somebody else could actually be living in your home in the metaverse because they have bought that piece of land. I think that's where we're going. So anything that allows you to design your virtual real estate or build your virtual real estate, that's where the investment is.